for my lovely um, chunky cable scarf, I need a pair of smaller needles, ideally sort of seven and a half or eight millimeter needles um, to cast on. And straighter needles are just slightly easier than um, than circulars for the tubular cast on, but not massively so. You only have 40 stitches. I've knit the scarf on um, on a circular needle, but you could use straights if you wanted. This is a 9 millimeter. Oh, well, if actually it should be a 9 millimeter needle, and that is a US size 13. Now the yarn I've used, I've used drops, um, alpaca, and wool, and this gives it a lovely, lovely soft feel, and the wool gives it bounce and structure. Um, now. It's a super bulk, a bulky yarn, and it has in 100 grams it has 96 meters, or 3.5 ounces have 105 yards. Now in the um, US, I think you could really, if you can't get drops, I don't know if you can, um, you could substitute a Malabrigo chunky, for example, that would have the same sort of yardish, um, or you could order drops at Andes. You'd pay more for the postage than you would for the yarn itself, I think. But I like it because it is actually very, very soft. So, those are the yarn options. Um, you could do with a tape measure if you wanted, and of course a wool sewing needle to sew in these, these loose ends. Those are, I, I will also, I've put a PDF with a pattern down below and um, all the materials are listed on the pattern. Let's start with the tubular cast on. It's a long tail cast on. Now normally you would need 20, for 20 stitches you would need 12 inches or 30 centimeters but you give yourself just a little bit more if it is a chunky yarn, which it is. So then you just lay the yarn over your thumb and index finger of your left hand gather the yarns and pinch them with these three fingers of your left hand. Hold the needle in your right hand with the index finger on top and if you just take the needle down and twist it around, that is the f considered to be the first knit stitch, so it's really quite simple and it, you know, it doesn't follow the sequence, it's just a loop. Um, as this is considered the knit stitch, you start with a purl stitch. So the needle tip goes away from yourself. It goes under both yarns. Then you scoop the thumb yarn from above and take it under the index finger yarn. And you can see that that stitch has a little purl bump if you look at it. The next stitch is a knit stitch. For the knit stitch, you point the needle towards yourself. You go under the one thumb yarn and the knit stitch goes as follows. You take the needle tip towards yourself, under the thumb yarn and up through the middle, scoop the index finger yarn down under the thumb yarn and bring it up to make a stitch. The purl stitch again, needle tip away from yourself under both yarns, take the thumb yarn and scoop it under the index finger yarn. So I'll show you a little bit faster because I'd like to show you that I actually move the left hand to accommodate the movements of the needle tip, making it all much more flowing and much easier. I grab every new stitch with the index finger of my right hand. This prevents them sl from sliding off. So one more time slowly. Knit stitch. purl stitch. So you need 40 stitches and because it's an even number the last stitch is a purl stitch. If you just undo that stitch at the end though and just replace it with a half hitch or a backwards loop then that holds the stitches in place. So let's bring my Forward. Now you're ready to take your larger needles and do the setup rows for the um, tubular cast on. The half hitch you have to hold the yarn so that it doesn't become too loose and you just knit it in the normal way. Then you take the yarn forward and slip the next purl stitch purl wise, take the yarn back 
So for both rows, the sequence is the same. These tubular cast on knit stitches are knitted through the back loop. Then it goes yarn forward, slip on purlwise, yarn back. And this is repeated across two rows. The tubular fabric doesn't actually touch for that reason, so you're creating two very separate rows. And um, it's it's a useful cast on to know because if you want to do cuffs which have to look very neat or the bottom of a sweater then um, or even the collar neckline of a, of a top down sweater then this creates a very neat finish now you might be asking yourself if the scarf has a knit two pearl two rib why on earth do I now have a knit one pearl one rib and the answer is that afterwards, as a hack in the first row, you're going to transpose these two t stitches. But don't worry about it, it, it is so easy. I'll show you how. This is the second setup row. The stitches that were slipped are the ones that are going to be knitted. And so they haven't been worked, and you work them through the back loop as before. So knit one through the back loop yarn forward, slip one purlwise and repeat. The last stitch is just slip purlwise with the yarn in front. So now you're ready and you can go ahead and do the first row of knit two purl two ribbing and I'll show you how to do that. So you treat each set of four stitches as a group. The first stitch is knitted, this time you don't have to knit through the back loop, so you just knit as normal. And to transpose these two stitches, all you do, it's really simple, you go into the two stitches as if you're going to knit them together and slide them onto the right hand needle. And look what happens, their position is swapped. So you can just slip the purl stitch back first and then insert the left and then insert the left hand needle tip into the knit stitch so that you can knit it next to the first knit stitch and now you have two stitches, two purl stitches left knit two, purl two if you look at the edge of the um, knit two, purl two ribbing and I roll it over, I hold my finger and roll it over then you can see it's sort of slightly over to the left and that is because you've transposed the stitches but nevertheless a very neat um, finish and it looks exactly like the knit two pearl to, um, to a knit one pearl one ribbing just as as neat so that's knit two and now pearl two I'll show it one more time a little bit slower that's the next set of four stitches. I knit the first one. I take the right needle tip and slide it into the next two stitches together as if I'm going to knit them together, but I just slide them onto the right hand needle. And that puts the purl stitch on the tip of the needle, so I slide it back and then I slide the knit stitch back. Knit two, purl two. So I've knitted seven and a half centimeters or three inches and then I've knitted one row which you can see there so just knitted one row and started the main body of the shawl on a row number two so happy knitting